Hello readers, I'm Kat from Bibliobabes.ca and today I'm doing a video book review of Mysterium by Robert Charles Wilson. Um, this is kind of a weird, like, sci-fi, displaced universe uh, kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a book with words in it. I like those. Um, it was published in May of 94, my version's from March of 95, 309 pages, and I gave it a big 5 out of 10, uh, which means that it wasn't great, it wasn't awful, it was really, really blah. So, uh, the basic premise is, <laughs> What would you do if you woke up and your town was no longer where it once was? What if it was now located in a foreign territory filled with hostile residents and dangerous weapons? And what if the only way home is more terrifying than staying behind? Bum, bum, bum. Uh, so, <laughs> this is what I had to say about it when I wrote about it. I really feel ambivalent about Mysterium. I didn't enjoy reading it, but it was easy to read. The idea was intriguing, but the details were beyond my interest and, frankly, kind of beyond my comprehension. The characters were sterile, but they did exciting things. What the fuck can you make from that? Basically, it was dystopian sci-fi. I like dystopian, and I don't really like sci-fi, because I'm not really a sciencey person. Honestly, I, in science class, I, I, I got, like, genes and that kind of thing, but once you got into, like, science and light and bending of particles and shit like that, I just, I, I just don't have it in me. It's, it's not my thing. Um, so, because I like dystopian, but I don't really like sci-fi, and there's equal parts of both in this book, I just kind of was left feeling disappointingly blah. Uh, pretty forgettable, but I bet sciency types would dig it way more than I do. Um, yeah, that's all I really had to say about this. I, looking at it, I really don't remember much about it. Like, nothing gripped me or... Yeah, I, I remember that there was a chick who was a mom and she did it with some of the soldiers. Uh, that part I remembered. And I don't know, that's... I, she had to wear weird clothes. And that's pretty much everything I remember about this book. So maybe if you have more of an inclination to like science-y shit, uh, then you'll probably like it. Or not. I don't know. Um, either way, I uh, wasted hours. So uh, thank you very much. I'm Kat from Bibliobabes.ca, and I hope your reading goes better than mine did with this book. Thanks.